Dr. Phil x Steve Harvey by Iris Sunpa Chapter 1 Mexican Shrek It was a normal day. Dr. Phil was in a hurry to meet his favorite singer, Mexican Shrek. He had two tickets for a Mexican Shrek concert, but had no one to bring. So he called Steve Harley. Hello, Steve Harvey said. Hi, I got a question. Want to come to Mexican Shrek's concert with me tonight? He asked. Oh my god, yes. I love me some Mexican Shrek, Steve Harvey said. He's a total fangirl for Mexican Shrek. Okay, come to my place at 7 p.m. Got it? Dr. Phil said. Yes, will do, Steve Harvey said, hanging up the phone. Dr. Phil smiled. He and Steve Harvey are going to Mexican Shrek's concert. Anyway, Dr. Phil had to get ready, so he changed into his favorite t-shirt of Mexican Shrek. It had the words, My Swamp, Get Your Own, and waited for Steve Harvey to arrive. At about 6.30, there was a knock on Dr. Phil's door. Dr. Phil walked over to the door and opened it. Steve Harvey was there, wearing a t-shirt that said, me swamp re on it. Hello, Steve, he said. You excited for the concert, right? He asked Steve Harvey. Yes, excited as I'll ever be, he responded. Okay, okay. We'll be there in about one second, Dr. Phil said, using his bald person powers teleport them to the concert. Oh yeah, thanks daddy, Steve Harvey yelled. I mean, uh, oh, I am your daddy, Dr. Phil said, winking. Mexican Shrek then arrived. Oh my god, yes, I love Mexican Shrek, Steve Harvey screamed, making everyone's ears bleed. A security guard came over to Dr. Phil and Steve Harvey. Out, he said. What do you mean? Steve Harvey asked, starting to cry. No, we are not leaving, Dr. Phil screamed, punching the poor security guard in the face. Okay, you can stay. Don't hurt me, Daddy, please, the security guard screamed. His name was Bob, Bob Duncan. Good. Don't you ever forget that, Dr. Phil said. Thank you, Daddy, Steve Harvey whispered. You're welcome, Dr. Phil whispered back. Chapter 2 The leader of the Nationalist Socialist German Party in 1945 is back in control. Dr. Phil and Steve Harvey were still at the concert. Steve Harvey was looking at Dr. Phil, smiling. Dr. Phil didn't notice as he was watching the concert. After a few minutes, he looked over at Steve Harvey, who looked away quickly. Steve Harvey then looked at his phone, his expression changing from embarrassed to shock. No way! Steve Harvey screamed, which concerned Dr. Phil. What is it? He asked. The leader of the Nationalist Socialist Party of Germany in 1945 is back. Steve Harvey said in a panic. Dr. Phil was very shocked. That was supposed to be me. Anyways, what do we do? Dr. Phil asked. I, <coughs> I don't know. Steve Harvey said. Dr. Phil had to think of something, and fast. Suddenly, the leader of the Nationalist Socialist Party in 1945 Germany appeared out of nowhere. 
Hallo, bereite dich darauf so zu sterben, he said with an evil look on his face. Oh, heck, Steve Harvey screamed, looking at the leader of the Nationalist Socialist Party in 1945. Nine, 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 bitch, Dr. Phil yelled, pulling out his AK-47 and shooting the heck out of the leader of the Nationalist Socialist Party in 1945 Germany. Sei sie den Hitler screamed, dying. I don't know German, Steve Harvey said, looking at Dr. Fell. Well, I do, bitch, he responded, chopping the AK-47. Let's go now, Dr. Phil said. Chapter 3 Boy Dr. Phil and Steve Harvey had just arrived at a dumbass teacher's house. Of course, they thought it was Mexican Shrek's house. Turns out, Bob Duncan, the security guard, was also there. Oh shit, it's you! Bob Duncan screamed, covering his face. Don't punch me again, please! He then ran away. Weird, Dr. Phil said, looking at Steve Harvey. Yeah, he responded. Anyway, time to go inside the house, Steve Harvey explained, walking up to the door and slowly opening it. The teacher was sitting on a chair, reading the newspaper. They didn't notice Steve Harvey standing at their doorway. It's a teacher, he whispered to Dr. Phil in an excited zone. Um, yay, Dr. Phil said in a confused and slightly questioning tone. Seems like a huge dumbass, Steve, he added. That's what makes it better. Dumbass teacher are the best teachers, Steve Harvey pointed out. I guess you're right, Dr. Phil said, nodding. The dumbass and apparently deaf-ass teacher didn't hear the conversation Dr. Phil and Steve Harvey were having. So being the dumbasses they were, they both walked in the house. And Steve Harvey, being the nice boy he is, closed the door and caused the teacher to jump up from the chair as a reaction to the closing of the door. Who, who are you? The teacher screamed at them. I'm Steve Harvey, and this is my boyfriend. I'm, I mean, friend, Dr. Phil. Steve Harvey laughed nervously. What did you say about... Dr. Phil started to say before being cut off. Nothing! Steve Harvey screamed, blushing a lot. Okay, then, Dr. Phil said, not at all convinced. Oh, shut up, weird black man, they screamed. Wow, that's racist, Dr. Phil commented. Agreed, Steve Harvey nodded. Well, I'ma just fuck this guy up, Dr. Phil said, for being a racist. So he punched the racist teacher. Oh, what the fuck? The teacher screamed, seemingly in pain and shock. Let's get the fuck out of here, Dr. Phil shouted to Steve, running out the door and Steve following. Chapter 4 This Dang Door Dr. Phil and Steve were on a walk, both silent. Then Steve Harvey spoke up. What the heck was in that teacher's house for? He asked Dr. Phil, who shrugged. No clue. I thought it was Mexican Shrek's house, Dr. Phil admitted. Huh. Okay then, Steve Harvey smiled as they both reached some wooden door in the middle of fucking nowhere. Hey, where'd this door come from? He asked, completely clueless. I don't have any idea. Jeez. I don't know the answer to everything, Dr. Phil said, sighing. Okay, sorry, jeez, Steve Harvey mumbled, mostly to himself. Steve Harvey slowly reached for the handle of the door and opened it. Walking inside, Dr. Phil closely behind. They walked for a little until they reached a set of stairs. Okay, Steve, where in the fuck did you lead us this time? Dr. Phil asked, clearly annoyed and slightly scared. Uh, Phil? Steve Harvey said, slash asked. Yeah? He asked. Then, 
his jaw dropped. He saw a fuck ton of people all change the world. What the fuck? He yelled. Kinky? But, uh, what the heck? Steve Harvey yelled as well. Uh, run your ass out of this place, Steve! Dr. Phil yelled, running to the door. Steve followed. Can we go there sometimes? Steve Harvey asked. To be continued. Chapter 5. Judge Judy and the Proposal. Yo, Steve, we should, like, get married, Dr. Phil said, staring to Steve Harvey's eyes. He nodded. We should, holy shit, he shouted. Now get me the ring, peasant. I want it to cost your entire net worth, and it needs to be sparkly, he demanded. And that's an order. Now go. Dr. Phil blinked and nodded. Of course. He then ran out of the house and yeeted himself into a Kmart to get some stupid ring. Him, out of all people, had to buy an expensive-ass ring for his demanding soon-to-be husband. Can I help your ass? The guy from behind the counter said. Yes, um, how much is that ring right there? Dr. Phil pointed to the sparkliest ring. Ah, that one right there costs about as much as your net worth. Maybe more, the guy said. Oh, wonderful, Dr. Phil replied, reaching into his pocket. So, you'll buy the ring? Dr. Phil said. He pulled the gun out of his pocket and pointed at the guy. Give me the ring now. The guy held up his hands. I can't do that, sir. It's too much money, and it's too rare, he said. Well then, here, take this as a gift to your sister, since you're too lame to get a girlfriend or wife. He shot the guy in the head and reached behind the counter, picking up the ring box. He did himself back to his and Steve Harvey's house. Okay, marry me, bastard. He yeeted the box at Steve Harvey's head. He quickly put the ring on. Thank you, senpai. I love you. He yeeted himself over to Dr. Phil and forced bleach down his throat. Dr. Phil drank it. Thank you, he said. There was suddenly a knock at their door. I'll get it since I'm the female in the relationship, Steve Harvey said, going over to the door and opening it. It was Judge Judy. Hey, Judy, how are you? He smiled at Judy, who looked up at him. You and Phil will adopt me right now, she said. Oh, okay then. Come in, child. Steve Harvey said. What the hell is that bitch in our house? Dr. Phil shouted. She's our child now, Phil, Steve Harvey said. Dr. Phil sighed. I'ma shoot her later. Let's plan our wedding though, baby. To be continued.